Get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase from today's sponsor at squarespace.com forward slash forge. Welcome back. It is the last week before Christmas, and I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I need Christmas gift ideas for my wife. But last night, I watched a YouTube video by Unnecessary Inventions where he was using AI to help him design an unnecessary invention, and it got me thinking. If I can't come up with good Christmas gift ideas to make for my wife, maybe artificial intelligence can. Give me a 10 second summary of what ChatGPT is for a YouTube video. ChatGPT is a natural language processing model that generates human-like text. It is used for chatbots and other language-based applications. How does it generate responses? To make ChatGPT work, we give it a lot of examples on how people talk and write messages to each other. The program then looks at all these examples and tries to figure out how to talk and write messages just like a person. So let's see if you can get me 10 ideas for Christmas gifts. I'm counting on you, ChatGPT. A personalized ring with my wife's name, an iron rose, wine rack, candle holder or lantern, kitchen utensils, mm, not so good, necklace, that'd be good. It's given me 20 very good ideas, but I think the overall winner is the forged wine rack. So according to AI, we should be able to get four to six bottles stored in the space that we need, and we found out the standard size of a wine bottle, which means that we can get designing, or we leave that to the AI as well. How does it do that? I don't like that. That is weird. We might have found AI's limitations. And unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to design it ourselves. One of the things I was thinking about, if I take a bar and then put the big fullers in, but then I have a bar behind it with bigger fullers. These are riveted together, riveted together, and we get the wine bottle. And then these would look really cool and like forged with the big swell outs from the fullering maybe. I think we need to light the forge and do some test pieces. This heavy wall tubing was gonna be enough? It's not. So if I wanna try this method, we need to make a solid tool. We don't have thick enough steel, so we're gonna have to upset it out of thinner material. Could be a lot of artistic value in it going funky, but we'd have to leave it up to the craftsmanship of risk. I've referenced it a few times on this channel, but there's a book that growing up my father always used to mention. He obviously, as you know, from when I made a chair with him, he was a very avid green woodworker. And he kind of talked about it in a way which is that there is something fabulous about when the material or the process helps create the actual final piece, whether it's a bowl you turn that then cracks in a way that couldn't be planned, but adds to the overall aesthetics and art of the piece. There is sometimes great value in things going wrong, especially when we're trying to make something that's aesthetically interesting. The downside to it is that when it goes wrong and it doesn't look right, it ends up like you've done bad work. The workmanship of risk is a fine line to ride. What I'm envisaging is this is constructed out of two plates. We have the rear plate that features our deep three inch wide fullers with the twisting and unevenness, hopefully looking good. If it doesn't and it looks like garbage, then the old workmanship of risk, no bueno, it's just workmanship of poop. So I find this very interesting. 
Very, very interesting. I wish some of these fullers had bent over the other way. The thing is, as soon as I started, I think it got enough of a cup that it just bent everything over in the same direction. I still think it's interesting. Next up, we're gonna make the front piece. So this entire section grew by five centimeters. It was 45 centimeters, now it's 50 centimeters. So I'm gonna gamble a little bit as to how much the front is gonna grow, considering the fullers are much smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take two centimeters off, hope it grows just about three quarters of an inch. So we're about at the same width when it's all said and done. they've cooled down, I'm experimenting with how far away they want to sit so that we can assemble them accordingly. Right here is looking fairly good across all our little channels. I like it. That is around eight and a half inches. But how to attach? There are so many options how to attach. I could have a strut that goes along the middle here with tenons that are riveted on either side. Or the strut could feature an L with two rivets in going across with another L, two rivets in. It could be all inset into a plate of steel or wood. I could have a bar that goes underneath it, which then bolts into the thin side of the rectangle. Maybe that's a cool idea. What if these components squished in to a rectangular strut like this? Imagine that forms into this, squishes it out, squishes it out. It would be subtly building on all the funkiness of this without being too plain, but without taking too much attention away. Look at that! We're going to do a little tweaking though because this bar comes in at an angle and so we need to kind of expand this slot, just make it a little bit wider. It's gonna be fine even though we already have the hole in it. All right, while we're talking about AI, check these out. Jamie, you didn't! That is hilarious! You made AI drawings of yourself. I love it. That is amazing. Awesome. pirate. How cool is that? So I reckon we should go take some photos of you and see what you look like. That's not a bad idea. Oh, work it, baby. You're a rabbit. <laughs> You're an animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! It's what I'm gonna look like when I'm 35. He was a punk rocker. Wow, the neck tattoo. You with some sort of afro? Yeah, that's kind of what I have. That, I look like my dad. I think this is like World War II or something or something. Look at that schnoz on me. Got a big old nose. Wow. That's funny looking. Is you the Look at this width of your neck. You look like a cow. It really is unbelievable what computers can do. Oh, forge is hot. Back to the usual stuff. That's the wrong pair of tongs. That's the right pair of tongs. Oh, you know what's an even better pair of tongs? More unboxing from the chaps at the Alex Steele Co. Look at that gorgeous pair of tongs that we now stock. Ooh. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm trying to film you. Get out of the bloody I'm way! I'm trying to film you drinking. Get out of the way, Jamie! Got <laughs> <laughs> you. Tool. the project complete a poem from our friend artificial intelligence with skill and care I forge ahead a custom wine rack a gift I'm driven to make I shape and bend the metal with ease a one-of-a-kind creation a masterpiece I can't wait to see the look on their faces they unwrap this gift in this special place the holidays are here my heart is full 
a gift so thought. <laughs> a gift so thoughtful. So cool. This has been cool. Thank you for watching. Have a very happy holidays. Let's thank our sponsor. Now, the lovely thing about this time of year is, is it's just that one week or two where everything slows down enough that some of the projects that you've put on the back burner can come to the front burner. And so if you've been delaying getting your business started, getting your website built, or improving upon what you already have, now is a fantastic time to check out today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. It's an online website building platform that I've been using for years and years and utterly love. It doesn't matter whether it's a portfolio website, it's for your resume, or for a business with unlimited physical or digital products. If you build it with Squarespace, it's effortless thanks to their drag and drop themes that scale your website perfectly from mobile to computer. And no matter how your business or hobby evolves, you'll always be able to keep up with Squarespace. In the future, if you want to sell exclusive content, you can use Squarespace member areas to put it behind a paywall. If you want to book clients, you can use Squarespace scheduling. It's a feature I love using with my little side business in dog training. As you want to market yourself, you can use Squarespace email campaigns and you can try it for the next 14 days for free at squarespace.com forward slash forge. And if you use code forge at checkout, you can get 10% off your first purchase with them, which also includes your domain purchase because they sell those too. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this. See you soon. Bye-bye.